Hi friends, my name is Akhil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial I will show you what are variables and parameters in SSIS. So this is my profile, I have 13 plus years of experience on Microsoft Technologies. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is what are variables and parameters in SSIS. Recently I got an email from one of my subscriber Brian Johnson and he offered some suggestions for the videos for this channel. Most of his suggestions are related to the project deployment methods and like how to use environments when deploying the packages. So I have actually already created two videos on the project deployment methods and I will share the link in the description of this particular video. So he also asked about explaining parameters versus variables explanation and when to use each. So in this video I'm going to explain the variables and parameters in SSIS. So let's jump to the demo. So this is my blank SSIS package and I have not written any code yet. So similar to the other programming languages like c .NET or Java or Python, we have a concept of variables in SSIS as well. So using variables, you can pass the value from one task to the another task. So suppose in one task, you can assign the value to an SSIS variable and then in another task you can use that particular value. There are different types of data types available for the SSIS variables. For example, you can declare a variable of type string or integer or date time etc. And you can also define a variable of type object and you can assign a complete table to the object variable for example. The major difference between the variables and parameters in SSIS is that the scope of the variables is limited to that particular package only in which it is defined. On the other hand, parameters can be used in all the SSIS packages created in that particular project. And the another major difference between variables and parameters is that you can assign the value of SSIS variables multiple times in your SSIS package. On the other hand, you cannot change the value of the SSIS parameters in your package. So whatever value, for example, you have defined for the SSIS parameters, you cannot actually change that value in the SSIS package. I have two instances of SQL Server installed on my machine. One instance is SQL Server 2019 and another instance is SQL Server 2017. I have created variable demo table in both the instances in the SSIS database for SQL Server 2019 and SQL Server 2017 and right now both the tables are empty. So let me show you how I can assign the value to an SSIS variable and how we can use that value in another task and then we will see how we can define a project parameters and then how we can use that value in the SSIS packages. First of all let me just drag and drop and execute SQL task and maybe I can call it set variable value and then maybe I can define an SSIS variable here so uh, maybe I can call it like demo and the scope will be the package and the data type I can set it to string so suppose I given some value here this is my initial value okay and now let me just right click and configure this execute SQL task and uh, create a connection here so my connection already exists, just use it, click OK. And then let me just assign the value to that particular SSIS variable. So maybe I can assign some value like select and I can put some value as like your first value. Okay. So what this particular line will do, it will select this first value, click OK. And in the result set, so let me select single row because the data type of our SSIS variable is a string so it can just store one value so that's why I have chose the single row and now in the result set I can just click on add and I can select zero and because this is the only SSIS variable demo so that's why it's automatically selected now click OK so after the execution of this particular task the value first value will be assigned to this particular SSIS variable now let me just drag and drop another task and maybe I can call it store the value into table and then I can just select the connection here and because I need to use the value from the SSIS variable so I need to use the expressions to write this insert query. So I can select SQL statement source property here and then in the expressions I can write the query. 
so we need to use double quote and then I can write the insert statement like insert into and table name is variable demo select the first column name is package name and then the notes single quote double quote plus plus double quote single quote so this is how we can use a SSI variable here so in the variables in the system variable there is a system variable package name so I can just use this one to get the package name and then comma and then single quote double quote plus plus double quote single quote and then I can use the a demo SSIS variable here okay and because I started in double quotes so I need to close that double quote as well so evaluate expression so this seems good click ok 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 so I have written this code to write the data into the SQL server table now I can just copy this one and paste this one and now I can change that value so in this step I put the value like first value to the SSIS variable now I can change some other value here so I can just right click and edit it so instead of like first value I can maybe put second value here click ok now let me just copy and paste this particular task because we don't need to change the SQL query in this particular task because this query is dynamic and whatever will be the value for the package name and demo it will be just inserted into this particular SQL server table this is our package so here we are assigning a value to an SSIS variable then we are inserting that value now we are assigning another value here and then inserting that value into the SQL server table now let me just define a project parameter here so to create a project parameters you just need to right click on it click open and then I can just click on this one and maybe I can create a project parameter with a name server name and maybe I can just put a prefix p so that you know that this is the project parameters and data type I can change to a string and the value maybe I can put to the server name value here so this is my SQL server 2019 instance name I can paste this value and now I can save this SSIS package so we declared a project parameter p server name here and now in the connection manager we can make this connection dynamic and we can assign the value of the server name here from the project parameters so if you check there is a project parameter p server name here so you can just drag and drop the project parameter into the expression and then evaluate expressions so this will show you the current value of the project parameter so click ok ok and now let me just make a copy of this particular package copy and then I can paste it and maybe I can rename this package to maybe package underscore 2 so this is the name of the package package underscore 2 maybe if you want to change the name to something else so maybe you can do that now what we can do is if I execute this first package so it will insert two records into the SQL server table and you can see the SSIS package name along with the value so this is the package name and this is the value from the second task and this value was assigned here and got inserted here and this value second value this is the value that got assigned here and it got inserted in this particular task and now if I run the second package so you will see that the value of the package will change so if I rerun this particular query so you can see that the package name got changed and this is the value from the second task and this is the value from the fourth task so suppose you develop the 20 or 30 SSIS packages in the development environment and now you want to test them in, into the test environment and you want to change the server name so instead of changing the server name for all 20 or 30 packages what you can do you can open the project parameters and in the project parameters in the server name you can change the value to that particular test environment SQL server instance so suppose if I change the value to SQL server 2017 and now if I rerun the SSIS package then the value will be inserted to the SQL Server 2017 instance so if I rerun this query so you will see that this record got inserted to the SQL Server 2017 instance and similarly if I execute this another package so the second value will be inserted to the SQL Server 2017 instance again so you can see 
so i did not made any changes to any of the package and by just changing the value of the project parameter the value got reflected to all the packages so if you have multiple packages in your project and if you want to change some value like server name or database name or connection string or maybe like project path or something you want to pass the value to all the packages then you can define a project parameter and that project parameter can be used in all the SSIS packages and if you want to pass some values to a particular SSIS package only then you can create the SSIS variables and the scope of the variable will be limited to that particular package only. Thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button, do subscribe to our channel, press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much.